Good. There you go. Everything was straight. Yeah. Keep it straight to brake. When you're braking, I don't care where, what speed you're at, just keep looking straight ahead, keep the bars straight, apply your brakes, come to a stop, and then put your foot down. Don't be looking at anything else. Because okay. that's where the bike's going to go. So what I was noticing that you were doing, you, what, you're still not giving me the big, big enough head turns. Okay. You're still looking straight. You're trusting that you can do it and the bike can do it, but I need you to look where you want to go. Because you're still going a little bit wide on the turn. And that's because your head isn't turned. So as you come into that turn, once your bike gets up to that point where the, the, you want to start your turn, make sure your head is really turned. Then put that steering input into it. And then you can lean the bike. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Turn your head, turn the bars, lean the bike, put your shoulders to the outside. Put the, all that together and those four actions into one <laughs> movement. Feather the clutch, full lock on the handlebars, Shift your body weight to the outside and ease out the clutch. Keep your head turned nice and smooth. And the bike won't fall that way. As long as you've got your shoulders out. <laughs> if you need to have your foot down for balance, you do that slowly. Slowly, slowly, slowly. The more you turn the bars and the more you lean the bike, the tighter the U-turn will be. <laughs> okay. And that, again, it's just practice. Turn your head. That's it, turn the bars. Good. Turn your head, look at me, turn the bars. Just keep turning, keep turning, keep turning. Good. Get used to those sharper turns. Now turn your head, steady throttle, just make that turn. Good. Keep leaning, lean your shoulders out to the opposite side. Ride that back brake a little more, slow it down. Turn your head, turn the bars, good. Just like that. Try to keep those bars nice and smooth. Don't be jerky on the bars, nice and smooth. Now turn your head, turn the bars, shift your shoulders. Good. Just keep doing that. Turn your head, keep your head turned, look at me, good. Turn the bars, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing, good. Smooth throttle. We can slow it down even more. Good. Turn your head. Tur steady throttle. Let the bike move. That's it. You got it. You got this. Now you just got to practice, practice, practice. Keep your head turned. That's it. Turn that head. The bike knows you want to come to me. Keep putting that steering input in. Smooth steering. Friction zone, turn your head, turn the bars. That's it, that's good speed, good momentum, nice. Both feet are up, you're balancing the bike beautifully. Turn. That's okay. That's fine, if you need to put your foot down, that's totally fine. So she's so uh, petite, she can, uh, she's on tippy toes when she does put her feet down. So the bike really is a little big for her. It's gonna take a lot more practice to get good. All right, turn your head, keep looking at me. Turn the bars, turn the bars, turn the bars. Use that friction zone. Use the friction zone, use the rear brake. Turn your head, turn the bar. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Good, good, good. Keep the bars turned as you keep looking. Head turn, smooth bars, that's it. That was so much tighter. You kept the bars turned. Right, smooth stop, good. Because you kept the bars turned and your head was turned, <laughs> you'll see on the video, you were turned, you just literally halved your radius of your turn. It was that much tighter because you kept what you were doing, you were, you were doing this, you were turning and then going back, turning and going back, turning and going back. Keep those bars turned, keep it smooth, keep your head turned and, and keep that steering input going, keep pushing. If you're smooth with the throttle and with the clutch, the bike will be smooth. All right, so this is riding the blue lines. You'll see a blue line semicircle here and I've asked uh, Veronica just to ride the blue line with a smooth steering input so that as she's following this blue line, 
she's not adjusting her steering constantly. She uh, just keeps the steering in that position to follow the blue line smoothly. All right, so here she comes. Good. So she's gonna follow this line. Watching her handlebars with a little bit of excessive steering input. Good. Still a little bit of movement. Let's smooth it out. Good. Just keep practicing that nice and slowly. All right? Ride your rear brake. I want you to try and I want you to try and do it as slowly as possible as well. The same speeds that we were doing the U-turns and the slow speed turning, I want you to ride that blue line as slowly as you can at a set speed, control it with the friction zone, ride the rear brake if you need to, but with minimal steering input. So as you're coming in for following that blue line there, you just set your spearing, steering and you're turning with your handlebars and then just feather that clutch nice and smooth all the way around. So I don't see this, any jiggling in the, in the handlebars. So it's nice and smooth. So practice that a few times to the right, then turn around and practice it a few times to the left. And then we'll reduce the, uh, because this is just basically a giant U-turn, right? So what we'll do is we'll go from a giant U-turn to a much smaller U-turn. Cool. Following the blue line. Good. All right, there's your blue line. Right on top of the blue line. Right on top of it. Follow the blue line. But now you understand why I stopped you from trying to do that without getting down the fundamentals. We got to go back to basics. We go back to the, the basics of the friction control and throttle control, using the brakes, using everything at the same time so you're not stalling the bike, but you've got control of it, slow speed control. And it is so much harder to ride at slower speed. It takes a lot more practice, a lot more control. But the, the better you ride at slower speeds, the better you'll ride at faster speeds. It's a lot easier to ride at faster speeds. Um, so yeah, practice the slow speed stuff, get really good at the slow speed stuff, and the rest will be like, oh, this is super easy. <laughs>